Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2013, brought to you by Planning Center Resources. Never overbook again. Well, continuing our uh, NAB 2013 coverage, we are here at the Hitachi booth, and there's been a lot of talk about Hitachi cameras for church because they make a lot of great cameras, and uh, we wanted to really cover this one. It's been out for a little while, but we really think that it's a great camera for studio work, for uh, iMag and different things like that in the church. It's very reasonably priced with the packages they have. So uh, I've got Emilio Ailman here. He is from Hitachi, and he's going to kind of run us through a lot of the things that are going on with this camera. Yes, good morning, Van. Um, I'm Emilio Alaman. I'm in charge of engineering for Hitachi. And here we have the ZHD 5000, which is our most popular camera. Uh, we've sold uh, as much as 1,000 of these cameras here in the market. A lot of them have gone into um, religious organizations and that kind of thing. And it's a production camera which offers two thirds inch uh, sensors about 800 TV lines. It has a 58 dB signal to noise ratio. It's offered with triax and fiber. Our digital triax system is a time division multiplex, which means that it's completely digital. And uh, the, the, the most important thing about this camera is the bank for the buck that you get for the price. I mean, the camera just has a bunch of professional features like uh, dual uh, memory skin tone detail. It has uh, ultra gamma, it has black stretch, it has uh, 12 vector color corrector. These are all things that have found a much higher price products that we make available at a very sensible price. So that's what makes it uh, a, a real attractive uh, piece of equipment for production in uh, houses of worship. And uh, the fact that it's two thirds inch offers people the widest choices of lenses on the market. Um, so that gives you an extra flexibility to configure the system uh, to be, you know, in the front wide angle views on cranes or even have long shots from the back of the uh, uh, facility. Now it. You have a, a bunch of different ways of getting the signal out. Can you explain a little bit about the different options of getting signal out and what that entails? Yes, the uh, camera is uh, basically a two-piece camera in that the uh, CCU is located where the equipment goes and the camera is deployed within uh, the facility uh, at advantageous points so you can get the proper uh, shots of, of whatever you're trying to uh, record. So the method of connecting the camera to the CCU uh, is typically has been triax cable which means it's a coax cable with an outer shield. And uh, the new uh, cameras, or basically all high-definition cameras, now offer fiber, which is completely digital. So the fact that you are digital means that there's no compression, okay, and also there's no any there's no type of modulation involved, which means that fiber is the cleanest and most transparent signal transmission method that you could have between the camera head and the CCU. So out of 10 cameras that we sell, eight of them are fiber. And in addition, fiber is going to protect your investment because in the future, should you go to 3G cameras, uh, that would allow you to uh, use the existing fiber for that existing bandwidth that those 3G cameras are going to need. So it's very important to consider. And um, I know there's still a lot of triax out there that people need to adapt to. But if you are going to make a large investment in triax, I mean in uh, fiber cable, uh, definitely uh, you have to consider the advantages of being completely digital and being future proof. Now you can still come out of this HD SDI. Out of the camera head, yes. Out of the camera head, we have HD SDI out of the camera head. The camera has return video, it has prompter video, and it has a unique feature that uh, is able to power up to two prompter monitors directly from the camera head. That means that you don't have to run any kind of cables in your studio floor and gaffer tape them together. You have a nice clean installation with a single cable from the camera head to the CCU and it's able to power prompter and provide two separate videos to a prompter feed. So it's a very advantageous feed just for studio use. And it'll also do uh, dual returns and comm and everything is through the fiber, right? Yes, everything is through the fiber and it's digital. That means it's completely noise free and uh, it's free from RFI or EMI interference. So uh, it's a very nice system and it's very clean signals, audio, both audio and video. And uh, we won't talk about price because it's very affordable, but the packages are all over yes, different exactly. price ranges, right? Yeah, we could talk about U.S. list price. The camera list without the lens and the tripod, uh, basically it runs anywhere between thirty-five and 40000 U.S. list. 
we just, but there's tons of packages of different things with studio and the monitors and all that. Exactly. Depending on how you configure the camera, that uh, is that price is going to change. We have sophisticated control panels, and we have very simple ones. So also the optics or the lens they're going to use is going to influence the price a lot, and the type of viewfinder. We have different viewfinders that also affect the price either uh, towards uh, more money or, or less money. So. And these are available, these obviously have been shipping for a year, so they're available now, right? Yeah, the camera was introduced about uh, three NABs ago, and uh, it's been wildly popular ever since. So uh, the demand for it uh, has been more than we expected, and uh, it's a really good camera for the money. And a lot of people have uh, come to know uh, the camera just by passing by and looking at the picture and, and uh, talking to their friends and seeing who, who else is using this, this 5,000, you know? We have, an, we have an advertisement that says it's the industry's best, best kept secret for a reason. <laughs> yeah, well, we know a lot of people are using them in the house of worship market. We know people that are. And uh, if they want more information, what's the website? Our website is www.hitachikokusai.us. Cool. Well, definitely check that out. And you can call your major integrators uh, and they can give you more information. So thanks a lot. Thank you, Ben.